there on YouTube, this is Chris McHugh with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. I invite you to visit our website, check out all of the goodies we have, and if you have a question, if you're looking for help with your instrument, that's what we're here for. So fill out a form and we'll help you find the perfect guitar, accordion, piano, whatnot to fit your needs. Today, what we've got for you is a buyer's guide for Taylor guitars. And we've been a Taylor dealer for a very, very long time. We love Taylor Guitars. They're a wonderful company to work with. They make a fantastic product. I own a lot of their guitars and I've been a fan for many years. And so what we want to do, because they're always evolving and changing their lineup, is to do a buyer's guide to kind of help you determine what would be the best Taylor for you and to understand the differences as you go from series to series and as you move up in their lineup, uh, both in spec-wise and price-wise. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. The first guitar that I have in my lap represents Taylor's kind of smaller travel size guitars, uh, which work well for both an adult who wants something to travel with, as well as for a younger student who needs a smaller guitar. Now, Taylor makes a number of guitars in this category. The one we've chosen today to represent that category is probably the most popular by far in their lineup, and that is the GS Mini. Now, Taylor also makes a Baby Taylor and a Big Baby Taylor, which they've made since, well, the Baby Taylor since the 90s. Um, but all of these guitars have certain things that are uh, similar between all of them, and that is a laminate back and side construction with a solid top, scalloped bracing, ebony fingerboard, ebony bridge, and a gig bag. Some of them have electronics in them, some of them do not, so that varies depending upon the model. And there's some wood options available. The Baby Taylors come with a spruce top or a mahogany top. Occasionally, we might have a Koa model. The Big Babies are available with a spruce top with or without electronics. But then came the GS Mini, and the GS Mini is really taken over that whole category, not just in Taylor's lineup, but period. It is one of the most popular guitars on the market with very good reason. It's a great form factor. It looks sexy as all get out and it comes with a lot of options so that you can find a GS Mini to fit your budget and your desires. So this model that I'm holding in my hand is at the top of the line GS Mini, which is their Koa GS Mini model. This comes with an ES2 pickup system in it. The spruce or mahogany top versions either come with or without electronics. This one tops out at $499. They start at around the $500 price point without electronics with the spruce or mahogany top. All of them feature solid top construction, laminate back and sides, ebony fingerboard, bridge, um, Overall shorter scale, it's like 23 and 7 eighths refraction, so to speak. Um, like I said, if you get one with a pickup, it's the ES2 pickup system, and they have a fantastic structured padded gig bag that's really a fantastic gig bag. Taylor spares no expense in making sure that every guitar they come with either has a bag or hard shell case with it. So this, like I said, for many years has been an incredibly popular uh, guitar from Taylor. And if you're looking for something that's smaller for a student or to take with you on your travels, I would highly, highly recommend a GS Mini. I own one of these GS Mini Koas. I love the tone of them. They've got a fantastic exotic look to them. Um, and they're just a joy to play. So what we're going to do is give you a sampling of each of these guitars as we move up in the lineup to give you an, a taste of what it sounds like and a bit of a comparison. So I'm going to be playing the same thing on each one of them so that you can kind of hear the differences in each model as we go along. And what we've done is we've picked a model to represent each category. So for the travel size, here's your GS Mini Koa.
next guitar we're looking at is in the Academy series, and this is a new series for Taylor, new for 2017, that premiered at the Winter NAMM show. This is a great series that was geared with the beginner in mind. Now, like the GS Mini and the other two we're going to see built from their Mexico factory, this is laminate back and sides with a solid wood construction, scallop bracing, ebony fingerboard, and bridge. The Academy series has some unique aspects to it, which we go in full depth in our full review of this. But the biggest thing that you'll notice is this armrest bevel. Now this armrest bevel is there to make it very comfortable to play. That also joins the short scale at 24 and 3 quarters or I think so, or 24 and 7 8 scale um, in order to give you a more comfortable feel. The Academy Series comes in either this grand concert shape or a dreadnought shape. The dreadnought shape is a little, uh, little bit bigger than this, not as tight of a waist, it's a shallower waist, gives you a little bit bigger sound, uh, which is great for strumming and uh, flat picking. This really is great for light strumming and finger picking, and they are coming out with a nylon version of this body in that series as well. You can get it with or without a pickup system. In the Academy series, the ES2 pickup is paired with this preamp that includes an onboard tuner. So whether you're actually plugging in or you're just playing on the couch, you have a tuner on board, which is a handy feature to always have. So these come in starting at about uh, the $500 mark with a pickup system. This Academy 12E is $649. It's about $650. Bucks. It includes a gig bag as well. And again, you can either get it the 12 body, which is the Grand Concert, or the 10, which is the Dreadnought version. And we'll go into a little bit depth on uh, the model number breakdown a little bit for you. But again, from the Mexico factory is the Academy 12. Let's check it out. Now we move on to the numbered series with Taylor, which starts with their 100 series. This is a full-size guitar, and it's really geared for the beginner or for the, uh, the budget enthusiast, someone who needs a great playing full-size guitar with some options available, but maybe can't spring for a more expensive guitar. Now the 100 series is a fantastic value. You get laminate back and sides, new for 2017, they are figured walnut, and each one's a little bit different because it's actual wood grain that's going to show off some wonderful figuring. The top is solid spruce with their standard two scalloped bracing. It's been reworked a little bit to yield uh, for 2017 a bit more fullness, resonance, low end as well. Standard scale, 25 and a half inch scale. Um, we've got ebony fingerboard and bridge um, and an ebony headstock overlay up here and the ES2 pickup system. The options on the 100 series is that you can either get it as a 114 which is a Grand Auditorium body or 110, which would be the Dreadnought body. Um, and you can get it with or without a cutaway. So they all have electronics in them, but you can either get a full guitar like this without a cutaway, full bodied, or you can get a cutaway option for a little bit more money. This 114E is $699, as is the 110E. The 114CE or 110CE is $799 currently. So you always want to go to alamomusic.com and check the latest pricing because it can change. But really great guitar for the money. And again, you get a fantastic gig bag from Taylor with this guitar as well.
we are ending the uh, lineup that's made in the uh, Mexico factory for Taylor, and that's with the 200 series. Now, the 200 series is the top of the line series from that factory. It's a full size guitar, again, with laminate back and sides and a solid spruce top, but it's available with a lot more options. The deluxe models all include a full gloss body along with a hard shell case, a nice diamond, uh, uh, diamond inlay. Um, and you can get it with a spruce top with sunburst treatment like this one I'm holding. They also have a gloss black, um, a koa back and sides with spruce top or an all koa. So it's a solid koa top with laminate koa back and sides model. Um, and new for this year is a limited edition figured sapele back and side model with solid spruce top. Um, this sunburst one I'm holding is a 14 size. So again, it's a grand auditorium. This series is also available in a dreadnought size as well in all of those variations. Um, it's a standard scale length for Taylor. Um, you get the ES2 pickup system, this beautiful uh, kind of perloid inlay uh, around the rosette, and some great options. It's really a, uh, a value-oriented guitar with some upscale features to it. So um, really fantastic value, particularly if you want something with a few more uh, a, you know, nicer appointments and if you want something that's going to wear well and, and be gig friendly for you. So let's check this out, the 214CE Deluxe Sunburst model. to the 300 series, which is where Taylor's lineup of US made instruments built in their El Cajon factory outside of San Diego starts. Now from the 300 series up, we're going to see a lot more options, a lot more body shapes in each series, um, finish options, things like that. So what I want to do before we talk about the specifics of this guitar is actually kind of break down a few things for you because we've been talking about like a 100 series and a 200 series and a 300 series and four and five and six and so forth. So when we talk about what a 314 CE is, let's kind of break down what that means because this will be helpful for you as the buyer to understand what is in that model number. The model number designates some specific things about it. So the first digit in that number, the three, in this case, indicates the series that it's a part of. So if you see a three or a four or a five or six and so on, that's the series. The series will indicate the appointments and the wood combination for that guitar. So a three series is typically going to be Sapele and Spruce. So Sapele back and sides with a Sitka Spruce top. You may also see some variations on that, which is found in the rest of the number, uh, but it might be uh, African Blackwood with a mahogany top, for instance, in the 300 series as another option. You're also going to see uh, black binding on the body and the neck, um, ebony fingerboard bridge, headstock overlay, usually chrome tuners and dot inlays. Um, it's going to have a gloss top and satin back and sides. This is a limited model we're showing you guys today, so it's a little bit different. But the three or the four or the five, that first digit in the model number is showing you the series that it's in and the appointments that come with that series. The second number is going to indicate two things. The type of wood used on the top, whether it's a softwood or a hardwood, and the number of strings that it has. So if you see a one, okay, then that means, or a two, that means it's going to be a six string guitar. If you see a five or a six, that means it's a 12 string guitar. Okay, so one or two is six string, five or six is 12 string. A one is a six string with soft wood. That might be spruce or it might be cedar. Two is a six string with hardwood that may be mahogany or koa. Five or six is kind of the same thing for a 12 string. A five is a 12 string with a softwood top, spruce or cedar. 
Six is a 12 string with a hardwood top. Mahogany or koa. Okay, so that's the second number designation in the model number. The last number indicates the body shape. Okay, so a 12 is like the academy that we looked at. That's a grand concert. Okay, so or a two on the end rather. Okay, so that could be a 22, could be a 12, could be a 52, could be a 62. That two, that third digit indicates the body size. So two is a grand concert. Four is a grand auditorium. That's what I'm holding in my hand here. Okay, so that's a 314. That four indicates a grand auditorium. Okay, zero would be a dreadnought. Okay, six is a grand symphony. And eight would be a grand orchestra. Okay, and then the final two letters on the end are designation of the options for that guitar. Usually, you'll see CE indicating the cutaway with electronics, and that's the most common designation on most Taylor guitars because it's the most popular options, a cutaway with electronics. If you see something that's just an E, that means there's no cutaway. If there's no E or C, that means it doesn't have a cutaway or electronics. And if it's just a C, it's a cutaway without electronics. Now there's some other indications beyond that, but they're pretty straightforward, like an SB is a sunburst. Deluxe would be a deluxe model of that series, and so forth. But if you get those first three down, that's pretty much where people get tricked up. The uh, series, the wood and string options, and the body shape. So this is a 314 CE, which is a 300 series, six string softwood topped Grand Auditorium with cutaway and electronics. This happens to be a limited model that we just got in, which is very cool. Limited for 2017, it is a Lutz spruce top with African blackwood back and sides, uh, gold tuners, and a beautiful inlay appointment on the neck. Otherwise, it's just like a normal 300 series. series is the 400 series. Now in the 300 and the 400, we're showing you a little bit different guitars. We're showing you limited edition models. Now the reason for that is because the 300 and 400 series have long been value series in Taylor's lineup. For a US made guitar, the 300 series is usually below $2,000, right around $1899 or so. And the 400 series is just above that in the $2,000 figure. This for 2017 is the 410E Baritone Limited. It's a six string baritone that goes for $2,499. Now, the 400 series, like I said with the 300 series, if we follow the lineup, it's a four, one, right? Six string, spruce top, zero. Dreadnought shape. So this is the first time we've seen a dreadnought body shape. And what you can see is that the, the waist is not as narrow as the grand concerts or the grand orchestras or even the grand symphonies that we'll look at during this lineup. It's a shallower waist and a dreadnought shouldn't look unusual to you. A dreadnought is one of the most common shapes of guitars. It's a classic shape uh, that's been around for many, many years. And it's a big, robust sound, very powerful. It excels with a strong picking hand for flat picking or aggressive strumming. So if you're a strummer or a flat picker, then a dreadnought body shape is probably one that you want to look very, very closely at because it's going to excel in that uh, in those modes. Um, a grand concert or grand auditorium is a smaller body guitar with a tighter waist that's going to lend itself more to light strumming and finger picking. You know, the grand auditorium kind of fits between the grand concert and the dreadnought in the line lineup because it does a lot of things very, very well. That's what it was designed to do, to be a bit of a Swiss army knife, a jack of all trades, if you will. But the Dreadnought shines doing what it's always done, be a big, bold, powerful guitar. And that's why this limited edition is very, very cool because it is low tuned and it's going to give you that big, fat, 
baritone response. Now some things that are unique to the 400 series. In the 400 series, we now have a lot of body options. We have dreadnoughts, grand concerts, grand orchestras, grand auditorium, grand symphony body sizes with uh, six string and 12 string variations that are available. There's also wood combinations that are available now. You can either get it with Ovuncle back and sides, which is a relative of rosewood, which is what the back and sides on this are. It's got the depth, the low end, and the high end of rosewood with a bit more mid-range. You can also specify many of the 400 series models with rosewood back and sides instead of Ovuncle, and those are designated with an R on the end of it. So you'd have a 414CE or 414CE are if it's got rosewood back and sides. So that's it's a very great option. It's long been considered a huge value in Taylor's lineup. And now with the options of rosewood or ovuncol and six string and 12 string and all of the different body shapes, it really is a very versatile series within the Taylor lineup that you should take a close look at. Some of the aesthetic designations within the series are going to be crisp white plastic binding around the body and the neck, again, ebony, fingerboard, bridge, dot, uh, perloid inlays, ebony, headstock overlay, chrome tuners, and the ES2 system as an option. Now, I failed to mention the 300 series, but something to note is that once you go to a US made guitar, all of these guitars from the 300 series up come with a hard shell case. Taylor manufactures their own cases, custom fit for their body shapes, and they are some of the finest cases on the market. So keep in mind that when you're buying one of these guitars, you're also getting one of the very best cases you could possibly get for your instrument as well. With that being said, let's take a look at this limited edition 410E Baritone. Notice I didn't say C, there's no cutaway, right? 410E Baritone Limited. We're gonna play the same piece we've been playing. Here's what's cool. We've been playing it in E. Since it's a baritone, it's now in the key of B. Moving on from the 400 series into the 500 series, and this beautiful little guitar I have in my lap is the 562 CE 12 fret. So let's follow that model's designation so that we get used to it. Five, it's a 500 series, which is a mahogany bodied series within the Taylor lineup. Six, it's a 12 string, right? And it has a hardwood top. It's got a mahogany top on this. If this guitar was the version with a cedar top, it'd be a five. 52, okay? But since it's a hardwood, it's a 562. If it were a 12 or a six string, it'd be a 522, right? So you're kind of picking up where we go. So 562 CE, cutaway electronics, 12 fret. So it's got a 12 fret neck on it. The bridge moves down and it changes a lot of really cool things with the guitar, changes the tonality of it. We've done full reviews of this guitar, so if you want an in-depth review, check that out on our YouTube page. Now, the last part of it, right, two, it's a grand concert, just like we saw with the Academy series. So it's the smallest full body size in Taylor's lineup. Very small body guitar, tight waist, small uh, top on it. What it has, is a very fast response to your touch because it's a smaller bodied guitar. So like I said before, it lends itself to some light picking and strumming and finger style. When you have a smaller bodied guitar, it's, it has a faster response. It requires less energy to get the top moving. So if you strum it lightly or pick on it, it's going to explode with power immediately. You don't have to really dig in to get that volume because it responds so fast to you. A 12 fret neck on this really gives it a wonderful, comfortable size, particularly for a 12 string, and gives it a more played in open sound right out of the bat. And then this mahogany top has a different response response in cedar or spruce wood, it's more of a mellow, mid-range rich response, which is paired well with the 12 string here. So I'm a big fan of this particular model, and Taylor 12 strings, 
let's put it this way. It brought Leo Kotke back into the 12 string fold. They are such wonderfully playing 12 strings. These are not guitars that you have to fight. So if you have been wanting a good playing 12 string, you have gotta look at Taylor's lineup because they make them in a variety of price points from about $700 on up. This guitar goes for uh, right at $2799. Uh, so right about $2800, under $3000, US made, all gloss, all mahogany. Now, because it's a 500 series, there's some special appointments, right? So we have this beautiful uh, mahogany back and sides, mahogany top. It's got a, a kind of a burst on it. Um, tortoise shell uh, and ivoroid um, are along the uh, the rosette here, ebony fingerboard and bridge. It's beautiful century kind of ivoroid inlay and this ebony fingerboard or ebony headstock overlay up top. Um, everything in the 500 series is fantastic. I love the, the tone of mahogany and Taylor's treatment of it really brings out some of the nuances. series we get to the 600 series and I, that's the way we're going in order because six comes after five but I do want to say something because the next one we're going to be looking at is the 700 series if you get confused I know I understand the 600 series is more expensive than the 700 series for a long long time the 600 series has been more closely associated with the 800 series and the five with the seven. Maybe it's an even odd thing, I don't know. But if you're looking at these guitars and you wonder why the six is more expensive than the seven, I'm about to explain to you why. So the 600 series is Taylor's Maple and Spruce series of guitars. Now, in recent years, they've been reworked and Andy Powers has brought some amazing changes to this lineup of uh, North American wood maple guitars. The construction is flamed maple with a spruce top or figured maple with a Sitka spruce top. Now this looks pretty dark for Sitka spruce. The reason is that it has been torrefied. Torrefaction is basically a heat treating method that allows the guitar to be roasted and open up an age. And it's a lot more complicated than that, which we go into in-depth review on the 600 review for these guitars. But that's why it looks a little darker, but it also opens it up quite a bit. The back and sides of these things are just lovely flamed um, maple. And maple's got a wonderful bright uh, response to it, kind of a dry response, wonderful bright tone and tack, very even. Um, but with Andy's treatment of it, it's really more open and very resonant than any maple guitar I've played otherwise. Also in this guitar, there's a new bracing. It's their uh, advanced performance bracing, which again, we've gone into in-depth review on. There's high glue construction and it has a thinner finish, um, which is unique to this and the 8 and the 900 series. So there's more upscale appointments, if you will. Uh, it's got a beautiful maple neck on it. It's bound in ebony with an abalone and ebony rosette. This beautiful ivory inlay, ebony finger, uh, ebony headstock overlay, uh, fingerboard and bridge, and the back of the headstock also has an uh, ebony back strap with a beautiful ivory inlay there. Um, some beautiful maple on this. Uh, the back and sides has a special hand applied finish uh, to give it this roasted uh, brown sugar color. Um, and it's, it's beautiful. It's actually one of my favorite guitars in the series because it is so open, it is so resonant, and it is so even in the attack and response that you get. So this happens to be a 616 CE. So this is a Grand Symphony version of this guitar. This is the first time so far that we've seen Grand Symphony come up. This is like a Grand Auditorium. It's a little bit bigger here in the lower bout than a Grand Auditorium. They string this with uh, medium gauge strings and 
Uh, it's kind of known as the big bold strummer at Taylor. So this is at home with a light touch. You can finger pick this guitar, but if you want a guitar that you can finger pick and then really dig into that has a really comfortable, sexy shape to it, the Grand Symphony is a fantastic model. And new for 2017, introduced at the Summer NAMM, these from the 500 series and up are gonna start coming with a sharp Florentine style cutaway. This soft Venetian cutaway, if you prefer, is still available as an option. But that should designate when you see these in the wild, that sharp cutaway is going to most likely be a Grand Symphony body. get back in series we move up to the 700 series this is a 714 ce wsb that's western sunburst okay so 700 series six string spruce top four grand auditorium shape okay and then ce cutaway electronics with a western sunburst Okay, this guitar series was reworked, uh, I think about last year, by Andy Powers and his crew. Fantastic new design, brings their new uh, performance bracing, not advanced performance bracing, uh, but performance bracing to this series. Um, one of the unique things about the 700 series is that it has a different type of spruce used on the top, and that's Lutz spruce. Lutz is available on that 300 series limited we looked at. It's also seen on the 500 series on some models, and the 700 series when it was first introduced. Now, Lutz is a naturally occurring hybrid that has some of the characteristics of Sitka, but also some of the characteristics and coloring of uh, Adirondack and Engelmann spruce. So it's got a very pale white ivory look to it, which is really beautiful, and a great low-end uh, resonance and uh, headroom, which means you can really lay into it and it's going to have a lot of volume that comes out of it. Now, the next three series we're going to look at are all spruce and East Indian rosewood guitars from Taylor. Now, I say that at the onset because what I want to show you is some variation that takes place as we move up in series, even using the same or similar tone woods. The aesthetics are going to change, the construction is going to change, um, all of these little attributes as we move up are going to change to affect the look, the feel, and the tone of the guitar, even if the back and side tone wood is basically the same species, although going up in grade. Okay, so this is a 700 series. Again, it's Lutz Spruce. It's East Indian Rosewood back and sides. Um, hardwood bound, I believe it's pine uh, or maybe fir. Um, same with the rosette here and the purfling. They have a, uh, a weathered western pit guard uh, that they're using on these, which is basically rosewood and ebony uh, made into this pattern, which is very cool. So wood uh, pit guard there with the reflections inlay in mother of pearl up the uh, neck here. A beautiful glossed headstock. And really, it's just a wonderful sound. You can get this with or without the sunburst. And again, we have those same options in the body size from a grand concert to grand auditorium, dreadnought grand symphony, and grand orchestra, which is their big kind of jumbo size guitar as well. So let's take a listen to the 714 CE with Western Sunburst finish. Also, I mentioned price-wise, this slots in a little bit below the 600 series where the 600 series was $34.99, this is $31.99. A little bit less expensive and even less so if you don't get the Sunburst.
the 700 series into the 800 series. And the 800 series has been a flagship of Taylor guitars since its inception. It's the Spruce Rosewood guitar that put Taylor on the map. And a few years back, back in 2000. 13, 2014, Andy Powers went ahead and redesigned the flagship. Now, that's a pretty gutsy move for a guitar company, but Taylor's were not one to sit on and rest on their laurels. They always want to innovate and always be making their best guitar. So, it should make sense that they've continued to innovate in the, in the 800 series. And what I have in my lap is actually an 814 CE Deluxe. Now, let's talk about an 800 series appointments before we get into the deluxe models. The 84 or the 800 series is going to be spruce, Sitka spruce, and rosewood, East Indian rosewood back and sides. It has the advanced performance bracing with high glue construction and the thinner 3.2 mil finish that Andy Powers developed first on the 800 series and that we already saw on the 600 series. This thinner finish combined with the new um, bracing and the use of hind glue makes for a more resonant, just fuller sounding guitar that you can feel rumble against your body. It's kind of a cool experience. Now, in addition to that, we have a mahogany neck, no stain or anything on it, uh, ebony fingerboard, and this beautiful uh, Mother of Pearl inlay on here. It's bound in plain maple with uh, a purfling around the top border of rosewood. The Rosette is rosewood and abalone, and we have a rosewood pick guard on here as well. Now that's an 800 series. What makes this a deluxe model is a few features. Inside the bracing has been changed to Adirondack bracing, so it's the same um, pattern. It's the advanced performance bracing, but the Adirondack bracing, that Adirondack spruce has uh, a different response, it's a little bit more springy, and when you play a guitar that's Sitka Spruce versus Adirondack, you can kind of tell the difference in the response that you're getting. So that's part of the upgrade. These chrome toes, which are uh, kind of satin chrome uh, Goto tuners up here, have a wonderful 21 to 1 ratio, really feel great, and I love the look of them. They're basically a modernized butterbean tuner, um, and they're available as an upgrade. Um, on a lot of their guitars and come as part of the deluxe package with the 800 series. And then finally, this radius armrest right here, which is very comfortable. What they've done is they've inlaid uh, rosewood into the maple binding and along the top here and rounded off this corner so you don't have a sharp edge dig into your arm while you're playing. So it's very comfortable. It also makes for a really cool modern look to it. So that's the eight. 814 CE Deluxe. Um, again, the 800 series is available with uh, all of the body sizes in Taylor's lineup. There's 12 string versions available, um, and then the Deluxe models are available in some of those models as well. So without any further ado, let's check out their flagship 814 CE Deluxe. Um, really a cool guitar. Price-wise, these come in at a, right at about $4,000. The non-deluxe version is around $3,500. They slot in very well right under the, eight, uh, the 900 series, which we're going to look at in just a minute. So let's check it out. on from the 8 we get to the 900 series and if the 800 series was the flagship consider the 900 series fully loaded okay this is the fully loaded vehicle sitting on the lot right this is where everything's going in okay this is the quintessential top of the line rosewood guitar that taylor guitars manufactures and i've long been a fan of the 900 series i own an older 914 c before they even came with pickups in them um, on the 900 series and they're fantastic guitars. So let's talk a little bit about what sets this series apart. First of all, it's a 900 series. So what you're going to get is 900 woods. It has Sitka spruce 
and East Indian Rosewood for the back of sides, just like the 800 series did, but it's a higher grade. And at the factory, I've seen when these woods come in, Taylor take Rosewood and separate it by series. 400 series, 700 series, 800 series, 900 series. So the 900 series gets the very best East Indian Rosewood that Taylor Guitars has, okay? Um, the top is like one of the best pieces of Sitka spruce that you can find. Looking for uniformity, um, no blemishes, tight grain, cross silking, even color, all of these things that will make for a beautiful toned top, okay? Um, it is bound in ebony, purfling of koa, Hawaiian koa. Um, around the top, it's got purfling of Hawaiian koa and abalone bordering the entire uh, top. The rosette as well, right around the fretboard extension. Purfling of koa extends around the um, fretboard all the way up to border the headstock as well, which is just gorgeous. Uh, this inlay is a new inlay that Andy Powers came up with a few years ago, uh, which is called the Ascension Inlay, uh, which is a beautiful inlay that continues to adapt in, in uh, abalone as it goes up the, uh, the neck and ending up here on the headstock, which is also adorned with uh, gold uh, Goto 510 tuners. The back of the headstock here also has a back strap of beautiful ebony. Uh, mahogany neck. You can see the whole guitar is framed in this koa, which offsets the ebony and rosa very, very nicely. Um, and then it has a full bevel armrest. So this is a little different than we saw on the 800 series deluxe armrest. This one is not rounded. It's actually got a bevel to it. Um, if you can kind of see that, all right. It's got a bevel to it. It's very comfortable. I have a custom tailor with this armrest. It's really comfortable. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. It's really comfortable on your arm. You forget it's there until you pick up a guitar that doesn't have one, and then you go, why don't all acoustic guitars have armrest bevels? The answer is because it's expensive to, and, and very labor intensive to do. Now this also has the thinner finish that we talked about on the 600 and 800 series. It also has the advanced performance bracing and it also utilizes hind glue construction. So this being one of the premium models in Taylor's lineup has those improvements in it um, to make it just more resonant and really increase the sustain, the volume, the fullness that you hear um, and feel in this guitar. So just a wonderful playing instrument, really something that is a kind of a masterful instrument and an heirloom item as well. So I don't say that because you should buy this guitar and put it in a closet. This is meant to be played, but it's something that can be played for generations. So coming at about uh, you know five thousand dollars, it's forty nine ninety nine currently. Um, it's a guitar you'd want to pass on to generations. So let's check it out. today is going to be the K24CE, part of the Koa series from Taylor. So we've moved away from numbered series specifically to a K. Why? Because it's very unique. It's, it's only Hawaiian Koa models. Now, before I go into the in-depth on this, I will say that there's another series that we are not specifically looking at today, and that's the presentation series. The presentation series adapts over the years. It is Beautiful, bling down, abalone everywhere, insane uh, guitar with currently Macassar ebony back and sides and a spruce top. We're not showing you one because we're currently out of stock and they're kind of build the order, very limited model uh, guitars and they're fantastic. When we do have them, we'll certainly bring them to you. And those are just phenomenally beautiful guitars. And of course there's custom guitars and so forth. But the stair line, which you'll usually see in stores is going to be this Koa series uh, from Taylor. Now the Koa series, the K, comes from the Koa, or the Hawaiian Koa wood. It specifically only grows on the Hawaiian Islands. And what it brings to the table is beauty and wonderful tone. The uh, Hawaiian Koa 
is usually uh, noticeable by the kind of caramel orange and black colors that you get along with flame uh, and the most beautiful examples of it. Um, Taylor has this wonderful tasty kind of uh, edge burst treatment that they do on here. This has a koa top uh, with koa back and sides. It has uh, flamed maple purfling along an ebony uh, binding. Same thing around the rosette, ebony and flame maple. You have an ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard. Um, and then going up the neck here, we have this beautiful uh, kind of Hawaiian floral vine that's also finished up here on the ebony headstock. Gold Taylor Tuners comes with the ES2 pickup system. Now, it's a K24, right? Two is, it's a hardwood, six string. They also have these guitars available with spruce or cedar tops um, in that lineup if you special order them, but you'll generally see it with a Koa top. Why? Koa wood as a hardtop is fantastic. It's kind of like mahogany where there's a wonderful mid range, but there's also some more low mid in there and some wonderful highs. So you get a broader spectrum, a beautiful top. I mean, why would you want to hide this? This, is, this shouldn't just be on the back. It should be on the front too for all to see. Um, so really wonderful looks, but a great tone. Hawaiian Koa though, I will say this, if you're buying it, you do have to go in kind of knowing that it's going to change over time. All of these guitars are going to open up as they age, but Koa specifically warms up on the low end over about a five year period of time as you own and play that guitar. So go in knowing that you're getting a wonderful sound right off the bat, but you're going to get an even better, richer tone the longer you own and play that guitar. So really one of my favorites in the series. And Koa has kind of come and go from Taylor Series over the years. It's been there a lot, but sometimes they, they haven't offered a Koa Series guitar because there just wasn't that much wood available. If you consider it only grows in Hawaii, well, there's not that much wood because Hawaii's not that big of a place. So, and it's kind of protected. It's not endangered or anything, but you can't just go down and cut down a, you know, as many Koa trees as you want. So, if you're looking at one of these guitars, know that Taylor's making every effort to protect and make sure that it's responsibly harvested, but it's not always available. So when you see some beautiful examples of it, you should jump on it. enjoyed and learned from our buyer's guide for Taylor guitars. Now, the truth of it is all of the details about the bracing for every single model, the woods for every single model, the options of body size and strings and tops and everything is kind of impossible to fit in an entire video and not make it like an hour long for you guys. So here's the thing. If you have any questions beyond what we've covered here, or even in a kind of more in depth of what we've covered here, go to our website at alamomusic.com. You can click on find your guitar or on a product page for one of these and send us a message because we want to answer any of your questions and help you find the perfect guitar. The truth is that we are blessed this uh, it, kind of where we are right now uh, in the timeline of guitars because there are so many fantastic options out there. But that also means that there's kind of a lot to sort through. So we're here to offer our expertise in helping you pick out the perfect instrument to meet your needs. It's why we're here. It's what we exist for. So go to alamomusic.com and send us a message. Call us or come in and see us, and we want to help you find the instrument to fit your needs, help you make music and bring joy to your life and to the life of others. So we hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see more uh, buyer's guides like this, comment below what you'd like to see us do, questions that you have, things that we didn't cover. We'd love to hear from you. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.